Okay, I just updated my uh, firmware on my CTC and it came with 7.1. Uh, I connected it to the MakerWare and had to uh, check the firmware with that and it did say it was 7.1 and I could update it. And uh, when you do that for this particular printer you have to click upload and the reset button on the back kind of at the same time and it's a little tricky uh, you gotta try it a couple times and it took me I don't know what was at 7.1 now it's 7.5 and I just went through and actually updated each uh, level so I went to 7.2 7.3 and when you figured out how to click the reset button after upload it took less than 15 minutes to go through there's actually actually a green LED light where the USB cable plugs in on the back there and when you're doing it it actually flickers showing that it's uploading and uh, one of the main differences is I don't know if you can see this but it actually tells you the percentage now and the time and before it just would show the percentage so that's kind of a neat little update that they did with that and it actually had some better uh, fix some issues with uh, printing issues too so I'm printing right now so I can't really go in and uh, I don't think I can go in and see what firmware is. Uh, no, it won't let me do that. Before you used to have to go in here, the build time, to see how long it's been uh, printing for your part. Now actually, it's nice, it shows you right at the beginning there. So, um, had somebody actually show me the inside of the electronics part and uh, I actually added some LED lights, went to Menards for seven bucks, got a strip of 12 volt lights that were the stick kind and had a little 12 volt uh, transformer that I connected to the power switch underneath and uh, it lights up. Um, not sure how much the kits are but this printer is identical to the was it a flash, flash forge too and uh, this was 750. That one was the Flash Forge was uh, like 1200. So identical printer. Um, this one actually said Creator on it when it first started, and now it says uh, Replicator after you do the firmware update. So I'm just finishing up on a cube I'm printing here, and uh, I have a Replicator 2 at my middle school that I teach at. And uh, just trying to print a bunch of these keychain cubes out for a friend of mine, and I have to adjust the temperature a little bit to make it work a little bit better. But I have added a secondary fan. Um, right now, that's just a 12 volt fan, and I want to be able to uh, connect that to the 24 volt power supply when I get my 12, 24 volt fan. So it should push out a little more air. This is only, I think, a two, 5 CFM. The fan I'm getting is a uh, 8 or 9 CFM, and then I added a little duct underneath there, so it helps cool either extruder, and I found that on Thingiverse. And uh, you're supposed to bolt it on, but I just hot glued it on because I'm going to be getting some new, uh, um, new bolts to actually bolt it on. And I'm also going to update the extruder... Uh, where you, where you put the filament in, I'm going to actually update those and put the spring-loaded ones. So here, since it's done, I'm going to go down and show you uh, that it does show that it has been updated to a new firmware. So I'm going to go to Info and Settings. I actually changed it in uh, a Replicator G, and you could actually make it say your name. Um, so here, setting and information, we'll go to version, and it says replicators, now, firmware, 7.5, and before it said creator, 7 point, or uh, 1.0, I think it said before, which actually was uh, replicators 7.1, so, just wanted to show that, so you can, uh, do that and this is the part I just printed 
and it's a part for a keychain and I'm going to have to adjust the temperatures a little bit. I've worn off my uh, replicator at school and we'll hold them side by side and the one on the left is a $2100 printer. The one on the right is a $750 printer and right now just by putting that filament in and not messing with any temperatures print quality is a little bit less on the, on the one on the right from 751 but pretty close. Um, the one on the left has been in my pocket since December so it's been in there for about three months so it's gotten a little smoother. So I have a feeling when you use this other keychain that I just printed out it will actually, uh, the quality will get a little better because it will have worn out in the pocket there. So, thanks for the, your video on, uh, on the electronics. I keep looking at your videos there and uh, maybe we can share more things. Thanks.